Yeah, good afternoon students. Today let us have a discussion on students and placements. I am Dr. Prem Kumar, Director, Infotech Computers, the Group of Computer Education Institutions. I would like to enlighten you in this session about the student placements. In this particular session, let us go with the campus placements, selection criteria and preparedness, tips and tricks and the myths. This is the agenda. The campus placements. It is one of the important event in the campus life. You will be having, you will be enjoying the college life uh, in various as aspects. One is academic aspects or it may be a cultural acti activities or is, it may be a co-curricular activities or it may be a extracurricular activities or it may be a trips, it may be a pleasure trips, it may be a technical tours, technical trips or mingling with the faculties or mingling with the co-friends and your peers, it gives a wonderful life, a professional life, which is nothing but uh, the college life. And in your campus, in your college campus, I'm talking about your college campus. It's really beautiful if you enjoy every minute of the life. Day students learning is a process. You can learn not only in academic style, that is not just by reading the books or uh, listening to your lecturers. Learning from your friends, it gives a kick. Learning from the fellow beings, whoever may be. Learning from observations, learning in traveling and learning in playing. So learning is a process and the knowledge is power. The campus placements is one of the event that happens in the campus, college campus. When you are selected among many, the kick is different. It gives immense pleasure that you had conquered the world. It changes everything in your life. Placing in a premier companies, world class companies, MNC companies with a heavy package, hefty packages will definitely change the path of your life and it glorifies your life and the generations itself gets changed. Not only you, your next coming generations, your forthcoming generations, they get changed. Everything gets changed. It becomes a miracle getting placed in a wonderful companies it becomes a miracle and of course this is the last chance that happens in the campus there may be host of events in the four years time period or three years time period for degree students or four years time period for an engineering student or the two years time period for the MBA students the last chance what you get is in the last year the what happens is the campus placement the most important event campus placement and if you see observe generally the students join the btech there is a craze for btech in fact it is not craze towards the technicality to enrich the technical knowledge it is not to enrich the innovative things it is not to enrich their bookish stuff the target is placements as the placements are doing well with the btech graduates all are inclined to join with the engineering there is nothing superior for a student aim and ambition to join the engineering. The main target of each and every student so that if I take the branch of engineering definitely I will get a good placement with a good package and which will enrich my life. It will be helpful for my fellow beings. It will be helpful to my family members. I can have a wonderful position in the society. I can proudly say that I am working with so and so MNC. And all these are the different dreams of the students that take the stream of engineering. I don't believe nowadays the students are joining engineering to inculcate and imbibe the technical knowledge. I don't believe. I don't believe. There might be very few students who joined engineering streams to enhance, enrich their technical skills. Most of the students, they join the engineering keeping the job, campus placements in view. Even the engineering college don't have laboratories. Even the engineering colleges don't have good teaching fraternity. If the engineering colleges are showing good placements, finish, the number of students, number of students gets admitted into that particular college. We generally look into the placements and packages. How many placements this college has done? Is the college is successful in placing the students, good number of students? And even the placements are with good packages. Nowadays we are looking into the packages, not just job. The job with the packages, is it 3.5, 3.6 or 4 lakhs package, 5 lakhs package, 8 lakhs package, 14 lakhs package, 18 lakhs package, Amazon Prime 28 lakhs package. What is the range of companies, range of companies that are visiting engineering colleges? Keeping this in view, the student is taking admitted into the first year BTEC. 
I am talking about the entry, entry thoughts of a student. The student brain or the ward or the parent's brain, even in the parent's brain, why I should put my ward into this particular college? What is their superior with this particular college? What are the premier things that are happening in this college? Why this college is in limelight? Why should I put my son or daughter into this college? They think 100 times. A student may think twice, but the parent thinks 100 times and admits that particular ward into that particular college based on placements and the past history and the package. This is truth. Now, dear students here, previously we are having the job fairs. In the final year, job fairs takes place. That is, different companies, they visit the campus, they conduct job fairs. As we will be visiting exhibitions, the commercial exhibitions, similarly, different companies, they visit the campus and they conduct the job fairs. All the students will be attending their job fairs with the resumes. And the best resume is picked up, it is being interviewed and being selected. This is the job fair. Campus placements. The team of HRs, they visit the campus. They interview the students, they conduct some tests, written tests, etc. They finally, they interview and select the students. That is the campus placements. This is what happens. Because of the pandemic situation, now the style of placements, placing the students got changed. Dear students, now you are target. Now you are target. You need to know much about the placement, the companies, placements. Accordingly, accordingly, your journey should start here. Your first step towards the placements of the journey should take place. So, today, let us have the in-depth, in-detail discussion of the campus placements. Now, after the pandemic situation, online activities are taking place. Even the placement drives are being conducted online. No HR is uh, visiting the college campus. No college campus placements. Very few companies, now they are daring to step into the colleges. And from the past two years, if you study, every placement is online placement. Online examination, online interviews, online cross, cross questions, online group discussions, online jams, online mock. And finally, they are being selected. The students are being selected. It is not campus placements, it is online placements. There is an advantage with this online placement. You may join any college, it may be a XYZ college. Any college, it may be any college, irrespective of college. If you are able to participate successfully in the online examination and uh, break that examination, you are through to the company, you are placed. This is the added advantage. I may not get good rank in my MSET examination, entrance examination. I may be placed in some college, in a rural remote college where you don't have the campus placements. No problem. No problem. MSET rank should not decide your destiny. Your caliber, your hard work, your practice. It is that which should uh, decide your destiny. For which, because of this uh, virus pandemic situation, all the companies they are conducting online activities you are at liberty to participate in any online activity and get placed by exhibiting your caliber here because of this online you can save time you can save your energy you can save your money you can save your traveling time and all this can be saved before a lot of time energy money is being wasted now the things became easy at your fingertips at your fingertips you can get selected into any of the uh, top uh, premier MNC companies. Placement right criteria when you are talking about the placements, which generally happens in 3 2. Dear students, don't be in a notion that happens in the final year. Placements are now taking place in 3 2, and even, even some of the companies are booking the students in 3 1. You don't have time. Most of the students listening to me are in second year. 3 2 or 3 1 is nothing but it is very near for you there is hardly 12 months time period for you to place the placements in this 12 months of the time period you need to put lot of efforts industrial industrious efforts hard work you need to put and to get selected into the best premier companies generally that happens in fourth year but now it got shifted to three two third year second semester itself and there is a talk that some of the companies are going to select only in three one some of the companies, they are coming for the three men. Third year, first semester itself, they are going to 
reserve the students the calibered intellectual students in three one itself but most of the companies now what happened this year i'm talking about this year most of the companies selected the students in three to third year second semester itself and offer letters they gave the offer letters a typical placement drive they it includes the eligibility criteria you need to have minimum 60 percent 65 percent 70 percent and some few companies are targeting at 75 75 percent of your academic percentage most of the companies they are asking for 70 percent so in your 3 2 by the time you complete your third year second semester you need to have 70 percent on average average i'm talking it is better to have 75 above 75 percent dear student from now itself you need to focus on your academic subjects and see that you cross 75 percent then only you will be eligible for all companies if you cross 60 percent very few companies you are eligible 65 percent some more companies you are eligible 70 percent plus companies 75 percent all companies so you need to keep up your eligible criteria most of the students they will be in a false notion the placements happens in the final year then we will look into why to energy waste our energies on academics right from now no that is wrong second year is the right time for the preparedness of your placements your resume preparation of your resume aptitude test technical aptitude regular general aptitude jam group discussions technical and hr interviews and offer letter these are the various steps included in your placement drive we will discuss all these in detail the entire period can happen within a day the entire process can happen the interview process and uh, offer letter and all this process may come concluded in a single day or it may take few days or some companies they may take few months to complete the complete the placement process campus placement process the first thing is you need to have the preparedness as i told you previously you need to get prepared if at all you want to get a job in the top notch companies first the thing is you need to have the preparedness guts be prepared the preparation takes a lot of time it is not just facing the interview it is not just writing the examination it is not scribbling scribbling on the paper it requires burning midnight oils well planned well before you need to plan to attack the target well before your preparation should start better from second year first semester start your preparations burn yourself fire yourself from second year first semester preparedness pl placement preparedness is very very important dear students it's not compulsory if i join a btech i should go for placements no that is a wrong notion if i join degree definitely i should go for placements wrong notion if i join my mba i should go for placements no that is a wrong notion you may go for placements you may go for the entrepreneurship i want to start my own company why should i work under someone with all this vast knowledge i acquired I want to start my company, yeah, I will start my company, I am having my own plans. I don't want to depend on anyone, I don't want to work under someone, I am having my own thoughts in my life, I want to become an entrepreneur, I want to become an industrialist, yeah, I can do that. Need not necessarily I should go for placements. But when you are talking about the entrepreneurship, there are many hurdles. What are the hurdles in the entrepreneurship, I will explain you in a different session. I may go for the higher education after BTEC why should I join job I want to complete my education first then I want to go for my job I want to do my MTech I want to do my MS abroad yeah higher education so the student choice may be a placement it may be an entrepreneurship it may be a higher education generally the placements happens in the third year second semester and the complete final year complete final year across one year and many companies they will be visiting and you will be attending the interviews there may be many distractions when you are focusing on the placements there may be a domestic distractions the family members the college life activities there may be some events happening in the college you are interested to participate in the events at the parallelly the placements the companies they will be visiting your uh, campus so you are interested in placing at the same time some college events happens you are interested in participating some dance drama and some other things you want to participate there may be some technical exhibitions 
you want to pass, participate you want to go with the presentation of the working models and all that stuff there will be many distractions you need to withstand the distra distractions there may be distractions from your classmates there may be multiple disturbances at the same time you will be having cricket 2020 match one day cricket at the same time at the same moment of time there may be release of your favorite heroes movies so with withholding all these distractions you need to progress further you need to take a hard step in order to reach your goals and many of the students they feel lonely no one is supporting me loneliness you need to have a supporting hand you need to have some mentors to guide you you are in the right path go ahead there should be encouraging words so that you can reach your target you should be prepared mentally mental readiness is required you prepare beforehand this is the most important point i would like to insist in this particular session that is placement is not the final year job it is a three years preparation of your btec it is three years closely three years they are, they are giving you a chance an opportunity to prepare for three years they students in your btec academics if you study you will be having five theoretical subjects and two laboratories or sometimes jain to anantapur you will be having six theory subjects and two laboratories autonomous colleges they will be having five theoretical subjects and three laboratories this is wrong five theory and three laboratories this is wrong the students will be observing five theory and three labs and they'll be striving hard to score well in this five theoretical subjects and three laboratory subjects jntu anantapur non autonomous they'll be targeting at six theory and two laboratories even this is a wrong calculation plus aptitude english communication is one more subject a hidden subject you need to prepare parallelly no one teaches you programming skills coding skills that is another hidden subject you need to get prepared you should not consider it is a five theory subjects you need to consider it is a seven theory subjects even here it is not six theory subjects aptitude and english i am clubbing aptitude and english that is one more hidden subject you need to study three years you may feel i don't have university examination it is not in my syllabus why should i study and all that stuff but if at all you want to have a good settlement wonderful settlement you need to speak english you need to practice english you need to practice aptitude reasoning logical stuff and other stuff you need to consider it as one subject you need to frame your own syllabus you need to practice well similarly coding is one more subject so it is coming to eight subjects j into you anantapur j into use j into use you are going with eight theoretical subjects all of us we ignore this this portion we ignore this portion the final failure is this because of lack of aptitude reasoning english and programming skills you may have 75 percent academic percentage you may have 83 percent 87 percent but you may not be placed because you ignored this this portion dear students the primary thing is you need to fix your own examination dates for english aptitude you need to frame your own syllabus you need to fix your own time practice 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 coding practices in colleges they may teach you may not teach you live live it is your life it is a settlement of your life you need to have a rigorous practice on coding part i am clearly stating you need to have a rigorous practice on coding part no coding no life today everything is automation everything is automation keeping this in view you need to start your preparation right from 2 1 second year first semester understanding yourself the first point is what am i what is my interesting area you should know that is very very tough task we people we study others not studying others the weak points of others are, is being studied by us the first thing is you need to study yourself that is introspection you need to have that introspection what am i what is my strength what are my weakness and all this stuff you need to know yourself knowing about yourself is your strength know yourself study yourself what is my strength am i good at communication skills am i good at programming am i good at particular subject am i good at marketing am i promoting can i promote myself well am i confident person what is my strength know your strength that is the very very important point 
try to enrich that particular point i am not saying all all aspects you try to enhance enrich that particular point on that point you need to build up the career the type of work i can do what type of work i can do am i suitable for that job am i suitable for the programming part or i am interested in the mechanical part am i interested in civil constructions am i interested in electronic circuit designing what is your interest you try to trace out your interest first the type of work because it is a life life long you are going to take it as your profession so for which from the second year first semester itself start working on that what type of work i can produce efficiently effectively and interestingly there should be work satisfaction unless until you are hang work satisfaction you can't work on it from dawn to dusk that becomes your bread and butter that becomes your source of income on which your family members are dependent and hence what type of work i can do better this is what you need to analyze and uh, when you are joining a company when you are targeting a company you study the company profile is that company is good company it is a genuine company can it feed me what its financial status what is about its management what are the ethics it is following all this stuff you need to study not just joining the companies don't degrade yourself you are the strongest person of the world you believe in that now you study the company profile and you study about the job profile what type of job i am offered what are the activities in that job i i need to do so you see the job profile whether you get satisfaction in the job all this stuff you need to study and also you fix the points well before by the time you reach the 31 3rd year first semester you need to have a clarity that these are my list of dream companies you have one company two company or plan a plan b plan c if i miss this company then i should enter into this you have that uh, a series of plans accordingly you start your preparation and sometimes there may be a technical and sometimes non technical all guys may may not be a techies there will be different combinations some may be in the business activities interested in the business activities then you can go with the business analyst or the business associate or the sales associate or the marketer or the digital marketing associate etc these are all the non technical jobs most of the techies the technical guys they go with the software engineering jobs systems engineering job cloud engineering job hardware engineering job and different engineering trainee jobs etc there are plenty of uh, the techie jobs whether the technical job i am so am i suitable or non technical jobs am i suitable you need to have that judgment take decision wisely before starting the life's journey you choose the proper path for which planning is required well before by discussing with your seniors by discussing with your faculty members by discussing with your uncles and aunts who got already uh, settled in their life by discussing with your parents beloved parents you take a decision you choose the path well before dear students be strong will power you need to have a lot of will power planning preparation accordingly you take a step the very first thing which judges you is your resume which is being the funniest thing is the resume is being designed by you by seeing resume we can judge you it is nothing but halfway success if your resume is good it is halfway success this is the fact and this is the most important document of you you prepare yourself this is me these are my interests these are this is my family background this is the technical stuff i am having this is the uh, uh, these are my hobbies these are my co curricular activities these are my extra curricular activities and all that stuff is being cooked up by you people you prepare the resume and you submit about yourself your profile is being submitted by you unless and until your resume preparation is strong the companies will not invite you for the next rounds of the selection process the jobs may be on campus or off campus whatever may be resume is common on campus is nothing but the companies come to your campus and you in your college you will be facing the interviews 
the confidence levels of that is different because uh, the companies are coming to your own college that environment uh, that ecosystem you are accustomed you are well familiar about your college you are well familiar with all the faces and hence the confidence levels will be shooting up if it is on campus it is quite comfortable for student to attend the interview it is off campus you are going to some other college new faces new environment and the new things may happen so generally on campus recruitments are more and off campus are less because the confidence levels differs from place to place generally when you prepare a resume your college they maintain their own formats every college maintain their own formats fixed formats as per the college norms the format is being prepared and it is being released generally the resume we include our background your contact details your education details your skills skill set your experience and your expertise and lot more things are being cooked up in your resume when you are going for the drives placement drives when there are some like uh, uh, job fairs going on job fairs going on the mass students they attend the job fairs then the preparation of resume should get deferred that is you need to go with the keywords when you are submitting a resume for a particular company if that company is hang the projects on python or uh, uh, let me say ai artificial intelligence projects if they are executing some sap abap and all that projects you need to put that as a keyword they don't uh, go through all that stuff whether python word is there in this resume or not if python is uh, word is there yeah, yeah finish they will call for interview they are interested in uh, let me say uh, bi business intelligence if you are hang a bi immediately in your resume if you specify that word itself bi that's all they will call you some entry some companies they will be in search of selenium testers so if you put selenium word finish they will not look into the resume that is a keyword search in resume if that particular word is there finish you will be you will be invited for the interview so your resume should change it should get updated periodically it should get updated changed as per the company to which you are applying as we discussed here the complete details your technical skill sets your technical skill sets the tools what you learned the tools what you can operate the tools what you learn and the technical words like uh, ai if you are, if at all you are interested uh, you are having the knowledge of artificial intelligence machine learning or deep learning or iot etc you need to put all that stuff in your resume or uh, the operating systems windows operating system unix operating system debian operating system android operating system ubuntu operating systems what all operating systems you worked you put it the soft skills like public speak is public speaking technical writing documentation writing leadership skills and all that the events what you organized in your in your college under your leadership all that stuff need to be placed in your resume internships if at all you attended some internships or some uh, uh, workshops you are having some experiences in that you need to put that projects what you developed maybe a capstan projects it may mini projects or the major projects the projects you need to put it certification courses like udemy and ptel coursera and there are many certification programs if at all any certification programs you had done online certification programs or offline certification programs you put it in the resume extra curricular activities you put it in the resume co co curricular activities you put it in your resume achievements and awards any achievements or awards you received you put it in your resume leadership roles the clubs what you organized student clubs what you organized you put it similarly you build up linkedin profile right from now itself you build up very strong linkedin profile generally nowadays what is happening is when you raise a resume they are looking about your friends your circle you have a circle they are hang professionals you just forget about the facebook you build up the prof uh, profile with a linkedin profile how many professionals you are in touch that they look so your linkedin profile should be very strong it speaks about your friends and circle so build up your linkedin profile and these are the major points you need to do suppose it is not that easy it is not that easy unless and until you do 
you can't put it in your resume for example if i say tools put tools in resume do you have any multimeter testing uh, practice or embedded c or you are having a practice on simulators or the microprocessors microcontrollers any other softwares means in your first year you would have learned learned that in your second year you would have learned that in your third year first semester you would have learned that unless until you learn you can can't put it in the resume so lot of efforts you need to put in order to strengthen your resume suppose i want to say that i worked on windows operating system i worked on ubuntu operating system i worked on android operating system you should work otherwise you can't write simply if you don't write anything in your resume it is weightless no one cares about your resume resume is a first ticket to enter that is a entry point in order to strengthen your resume you need to put a lot of efforts most of the students the blunder what they do is after entering into the final year because they feel that job recruitment process is the final year stuff then to put into the resume they don't have anything what technical knowledge null what tools wide nothing what projects no what seminars no what symposiums no what workshops no any cultural events no any leadership qualities no their name their btech percentage their address their father name mother name no one bothers and cares about the resume you need to have the public skills soft skills public speaking skills most important point speaking skills you need to speak you are a techy you are an engineer you are going to control many workers who are going to work under you so you need to have the leadership commanding voice the communication skills amazing communication skills along with the technical skills you need to build up you are the leader and hence all these skills are to be incorporated unless and until you are hang these skills you can't put that in your resume don't build up the fake false resume when you are called for interviews they ask the questions from your resume if i specify i'm i'm having bi business intelligence i'm good at bi tool they impose the questions on bi tool if i put that i developed so and so project online hospital management system they put questions on the modules they'll ask you the architecture you should be in a position to answer it confidently and hence uh, in final year in 3 1 or 3 2 if at all you are preparing a resume for which the preparation should start now while writing resume some tips uh, you need to follow single font from top to bottom single font you use a single font you highlight the important points you specify only the points you can answer and you are sure you specify only the points you can answer and you are sure of, of that because in interview in technical rounds and hr rounds the questioning is from your resume never include you are hang any stuff with doubts you need to change your resume from company to company you need to update your resume job is not one day job one day thing miracles will not happen in single day overnight it takes time it may take 6 months time it may take 8 months time it may take 1 year or 2 years time in this 2 years lot of updations happens so you need to keep on updating your resume don't throw the old resumes it should be regularly continuous updation happen should happen in your resume depending upon the company depending upon the job profile you need to change the model of resume i want to go with the uh, job as a tester then the style of resume is different i want to go as a software engineer the job the style of resume is different i want to go as a business analyst the style of preparing a resume should get changed the hobbies should get changed the events you participated should get changed the style of resume should be changed from company to company job profile to job profile so these are the points you need to keep in mind and accordingly you need to start your preparations don't miss the internships 
if at all you attended some internships or projects you need to put projects and internship hobbies and interest it this plays vital role when i'm doing my interviews i'll be looking into the hobbies i'll be just peeping into the hobbies some space specifies that i'm having book reading okay some specifies i'm having a chess i just play chess very good some says cooking is my hobby some says gardening is my hobby okay means if you observe these hobbies all of you listen carefully if you observe these all these hobbies book reading it is done alone a single person will be sitting at a corner and he will be reading means he he will not be mingling with others he is not good team player gardening he will be doing his own gardening work he is not mingling with anyone else there will be certain hobbies where the teams participate you take cricket you take a shuttle you take uh, table tennis you take uh, the football volleyball so he is a part of a group means he can coordinate with the team members psychological adjustments he can go with the psychological adjustments it may be a win or it may be a defeat he can take that pain so some team projects that is that is encouraged such type of hobbies are encouraged there will be some team hobbies so i play cricket on sundays with along with my friends cricket means you require a mob so mob of friends means he is a team player he is one among a team then he is having the psychological adjustments he can adjust with the other members if at all you specify that i am book reader i am can cook i am so the job profile is differs he is suitable for some sort of jobs not for the team playing jobs so depending upon your hobbies also we can judge your psychological state and accordingly whether you are suitable for the job or not can be decided so you are having a technical and business jobs some technical jobs we need to focus on the technical skills and projects for non technical jobs you need to focus on extra curricular and co curricular co curricular activities if your resume is right it is you are half selected whenever you are going for a job they will call for a test it may be aptitude test or whatever may be they will call for a test they conduct test that depends the test varies from company to company whatever may be company they will conduct one test unless and until you through you are through for the test the next round will not start the first thing is they will conduct a test and coming to this test what will be the right type of test you need to analyze what are the types of test what is the pattern of the test what is the time allotted for the test what is the syllabus of the test what is the difficulty levels of the test what are the frequently asked questions frequently asked questions in the previous tests and all these we need to study well before well before once your resume is through they will call you to answer a test first thing is you need to grab the complete data about that test you talk to your seniors how can you get it you google it and you get down the details of the test or you talk to your seniors who already experienced that test who faced that test you will get the complete information from them you also talk to your training and placement cell every college will be hang the training and placement cell and there will be a tpo training and placement officer you talk to the training and placement officer he gives the complete details and the pattern of the test and the details and depth of the test will be given accordingly you start your preparation dear students my point is only one thing don't get struggled in third year second semester don't wait right from now you have a vision accordingly you start your preparations generally the test it may be a, a technical test or aptitude maths aptitude they go with the logical reasoning mathematical technical test they conduct generally in the test you will be having a one word answers fill in the blanks fill in the blanks that is one word answers mcqs 
so multiple choice uh, a b c d they give some choice and descriptive short explanations short explanations two three lines explanation test output of the questions they give some question you will be asked to write the uh, program sometimes they will give the program they will ask you to write the output coding round so they give a question for which you need to break the problem by developing a code coding rounds output of the questions they give the complete program they and they, they'll ask you what is the output of this program and sometimes they may go with the technical students if you are technical students btech students sometimes some companies for you take uh, amazon you take epam these are the companies they ask sql queries structured query language oracle you may have listened about the back end databases oracle sybase ingress paradox mysql mongo database uh, elastic databases uh, sqlite for mobile sqlite there are hell of databases they may be asking some sql queries so the test at the technical test or the mathematical test you will be hang a filling the blanks multiple choice questions descriptive output coding and sql queries so you should be aware of this all these are not being taught in your first year or second year btech you need to prepare on your own sometimes the training and placement cells they may be conducting some extra classes evening classes in order to train you in all this if that happens it is well and good if not uh, this is our life we need to struggle you are the warrior of your life the important subjects general in this test some of the important important subjects you need to focus are data structures and algorithms data structures and algorithms irrespective of the branches it may be ece triple e mechanical civil industrial and production chemical engineering computer science it artificial intelligence iot whatever may be the branch nowadays all the software companies are coming recruiting the mechanical students recruiting the civil students recruiting the triple e students any student in order to enter into the it segment i am talking about it segment most of the it companies they look into the data structures and algorithms operating systems system software compiler designing dbms most important dbms networking linux there are some jobs not as a software engineers as a database jobs they look into the data structures operating systems dbms cloud jobs are there if the companies are focusing on the cloud projects they go with the operating system data structures dbms you observe here dbms dbms operating system os operating system operating system operating system data structures data structures dbms 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 cloud computing distributed computing networking jobs if at all there are some cisco you take cisco cisco networking jobs if you are going for networking jobs they ask about computer networking and the data communications again operating system operating system c programming linux programming hardware engineers jobs computer organizations architecture and circuits embedded systems etc and if you notice all these are the different types of the jobs and the companies they will be con they will be coming to your campus to recruit you or online online recruitment process if you observe data structures is important operating sy system is important dbms 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 is important dbms is important so you need to focus on these subjects the high degree of focus should be on these subjects importance of coding the very first sentence what i tell is no coding no life today no coding no life no coding no life because everything is automated you take your tv it is automated you will be operating with your remote accordingly it means there is some program which is sitting in your tv there is some program which is sitting in your remote accordingly the sync is happening and the uh, tv is getting operated you take refrigerator it is automated you take washing machine it is automated 
you take your oven it is automated electronic cooker it is automated your mobile phone is automated all the automation is going on your car is automated it is a driverless car you sit in the car you give a instruction you give a command artificial intelligence it is driving to your destination your car is automated the present day your ac air conditioner is automated so everything is getting automated means the electronics is getting com is getting com embedded with the coding part and it is being clubbed with the uh, it is clubbed with the mechanical part so everything it is interdisciplinary it is interdisciplinary it is interdisciplinary all this is getting clubbed amalgamated and finally a wonderful creations are being done by the engineers and hence irrespective of discipline it may be civil mechanical it may be a civil mechanical uh, electronics electrical whatever may be whatever may be you need to have coding knowledge the majority of the companies include coding tests they go with the coding part the companies they conduct the coding test mcqs coding mcqs or it may be a programming you take the tcs wipro infosys cognizant technologies cts cognizant technologies cisco accenture epam top notch companies ibm microsoft dbs development bank of singapore all these are the multinational companies they test your coding skills so you should be very very strong in coding no coding no life you should be very strong at one programming language i am not talking about all programming languages at least minimum minimum one programming language you should be very strong minimum it is desired to have three programming languages your first year btech second year btech third year btech it is recommended you be thorough with three programming languages if not three at least one at least one at least one it is designed to have a strong hold on any of the three programming languages if not you be thorough with one programming language you should break any problem using that programming language the present trend they are going with python java c language or c++ python java c or c++ so these are the programming languages the present trend the hot cakes are python python object oriented python you can go with the python general python basic python object oriented python this is object oriented programming java and of course c outdated 1972 dennis emrichi at&t bell laboratories 1972 even now it is strong because of its data structures and pointers it is very strong apart from this programming languages it is recommended to go with the oracle sql go with the structured query language most of the companies they connect the first uh, front end with back end in order to have the knowledge of the back end you need to go with the sql so better you go with the python sql java sql and of course c++ sql how that is a uh, better you go with the web technologies web technologies and sql better you have this knowledge of sql back end technical aptitude coming to the technical aptitude there may be a general aptitude test a technical aptitude test students technical aptitude test and general aptitude test i am talking about the technical aptitude test technical aptitude test they will ask in your core subjects if you are electronic students electronic core subjects if you are triple e students the, you, they may be asking questions on the basic uh, electronics uh, and all that the power generations many other things ece students uh, signals and systems or any other radars and many other uh, your core subjects uh, for computer science students it may be on uh, operating systems computer networks compiler designing flat da design and analysis of algorithms so on many of your core subjects the technical questions are being asked in order to be thorough with this technical aptitude answer the technical aptitude be thorough with your core subjects have a rigorous practice on your core subjects the other point as i told you previously 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 in order to have 
practice on your coding coding practice coding practice you start immediately it is a free of cost hacker rank you get registered in hacker rank website hacker at the website code chef website dear students immediately immediately you get registered into this hacker rank website hacker earth website code chef website first you go with the hacker rank the priority better go with the hacker rank they will give a question you try to give the answer for that programmatical answer you will be given a rank that is called hacker rank second question you give the answer the rank gets reduced for, for example you got a starting day your rank is 2 lakhs your rank gets reduced to 1 lakh 90 thousand third question if you answer 1 lakh 80 thousand so the rank will come down come down come down and see that uh, your rank is below thousand then you will become wonderful programmer so there are some websites a free websites they will be questioning you and you should answer them that is a hacker rank hacker earth code chef these are these are some of the popular websites where the students will be practicing similarly you go through the tutorials a free tutorials like uh, tutorial point java point and w3 schools so these are the popular online websites free websites where you can enrich your knowledge so that you will be answering the technical aptitude well general aptitude general aptitude they will test your problem solving abilities and knowledge and your time management skills generally they will be asking from 6th class to 12th class mathematics books they are speed the problems related to speed and time clock calendar relations and uh, probability and statistics arithmetics area volume shapes work and power etc these are the general questions they will be asking in the general aptitude so it is used to judge your caliber your problem solving skills and your time management here the thing is uh, everyone can solve this but only thing is they take time within the stipulated time period you need to answer the perfect answer correct answer so they see the your accuracy they speed your sp uh, they test your speed so the general aptitude test you need to be in touch with the simple mathematics what you learned from 6th class to 12th class mathematics you should not forget that you should salute your school teachers for training the mathematics you revise you revise revise the mathematics what you learned from 6th class to 12th class logical reasoning test and coming to this logical reasoning the general aptitude test as we discussed previously general aptitude the speed and time power work and all that in which a part a portion is a logical reasoning test it gives the decision making capacity with which the persons the company people they will judge your decision making decision making making is very very important right decision in right time will lead to profits time and tide you need to assess the time and tide take right decision in right time the company will flourish in profits in order to test your decision decision making abilities your logical reasoning should be amazing and this is being tested in your general aptitude the questions are on patterns they give different patterns what is the next sequence they will ask numbers sequences and the series number series sequences and there are thinking based questions or decision making questions all this comes under the general aptitude the logical reasoning is a part of general aptitude language your communication skills because now you are targeting the international companies you may be placed at bangalore hyderabad pune new jersey california chicago dallas ireland finland germany anywhere you may be placed across the globe the it industry software jobs are global you take the mechanical jobs germany is doing well you learn germany if at all there are any mechanical students 
go with the german german language you learn the german language have the german certifications and you push off to germany you hang a wonderful career opportunities at germany for mechanical students so they test your english uh, proficiency because english is international language you should definitely speak in english you need to change your environment the total environment is should get changed dear students we telugu people we are intellectuals no doubt in that you are calibered students no doubt in that where we are lagging is uh, communication skills you don't have better communication skills you will be communicating in telugu in a better way but the same thing if you want to convey in english there is a problem so you need to enrich your communication skills enhance your communication skills you need to uh, sharpen your communication skills so in order to enhance your communication skills the first thing is you need to go with the english movies you need to go with the english tv serials english tv serials you entertain and relax with the tv serials but english you entertain and relax yourself but english movies you entertain and relax yourself with english newspaper no inadu sakshi andar jyoti you change your ecosystem you change your environment you will change you try to speak to your friends in english communication skills plays vital role they check the error checking spelling checking synonyms antonyms and the general awareness the decision making etc and all these uh, is being tested whether you are get it uh, you are good at uh, synonyms antonyms and the general awareness error checking grammatical grammatical mistakes and all that they check your abilities that is english language abilities are being tested then after crossing all this you will be entering into the interview interview round the final interview round final interview round there will be two levels one is technical rounds and hr rounds technical round they will be asking all the technical questions hr round they test your psychology human emotions and psychology are being tested human emotions and psychology that is very important human emotions are very important we are egoistic they will cross check your egos manam maatante padam manadi rayala seema manadi uduku netturu all this is being tested that is human emotions they should be in control if any unwanted word is being expressed is being uttered by the interviewer that's all our blood boils we will be crossing our limits that's what the human emotions is, are being tested with hr whether you are friendly whether you are a cool person or not and all this is being tested with questions why should i give a job for you only why not others what is is your intention in joining this job only in world there are number of jobs why you are coming for this job only how you will justify that you will do justice for this particular job all sorts of questions will be asked for which you should have a thorough knowledge on the core subjects the first point unless and until you are very cool when you are strong at subject you will be cool otherwise internally you will be feeling tense so be very strong with your subject core subjects and logically be good then you can focus on the communication skills and the words of the interviewer what he is saying then only we can smile and grab the job and in hr interview they'll be asking all these questions why should we hire you what do you want to join why do you want to join this company only and uh, where do you see in your uh, yourself in the next 5 to 10 years after 5 to 10 years where you are expecting the position what you are expecting in my company what is your vision all these sorts of questions are being asked in your hr round so be prepared with all this so it is not one day preparation slowly 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 you take 2 years of the time period to have the preparation 2 years of the time period so you prepare well there are some interview tips take it easy be calm and focused be calm and focused the first point depending upon the company you can shape your introduction 
you listen to the point carefully depending upon the company you should shape your introduction your introduction should get changed if it is a business oriented company your introduction should be different if it is a technical company your introduction should be different if it is a supporting company your introduction should be different based on the company your introduction should get changed so that it should suit to that company answer all questions with confidence Ex exhibiting confidence is very very important you need to exhibit confidence so no question of doubt the explanation what should you give should be crisp and sharp and uh, show output sometimes they will ask you to code so immediately you carry your laptop you load the editors and be ready if at all in the interview they will ask a, a problem immediately you code and show them immediately and sometimes the question may be confusing then there is nothing wrong you get clarification of the questions from the interviewer don't give any pessimistic answers means i don't know i don't want don't use this not don't use this not instead of say, saying i don't know i will know it i will know it instead of saying i don't know i will know it instead of uh, i don't know i'm unaware that is a be better better word i'm unaware of that so don't give any pessimistic negative shade answers not don't use that not so it should be very optimistic answers most of the questions are from your resume and hence you should be thorough with your resume sometimes btech students the common mistake what they do is when after soon after the btech uh, uh, they are entering into the tcs or infosys or wipro the interviewer they will be asking don't you are you not interested in higher education they will ask yes sir i am interested then when you are going to do after 2 years means after 2 years you are going to leave the job so the entire experience what they give becomes waste right sit in a so now nowadays what is happening is uh, even the interviews are online interviews online interviews it's not a personal because of the pandemic situations online interviews are going on so sit in a well lighted room well dressed well lighted room well dressed and well audio good audio system microphones and speakers they should uh, work well so keep all these and accordingly you start sometimes they conduct a jam just a minute means they will give a problem they give a one minute time for preparation and one minute time to talk nowadays most of the companies are going with the jam rounds just a minute how creative you are your creativeness is being tested coming to academic percentage you may be having 85 percent academic percentage where you will be mugging up the entire textbook and you are reproducing there is no creativity of your own and coming to this jam rounds just a minute rounds it is totally creative they give a topic they give one minute time to think and one minute to answer immediately you need to prepare in one minute on your own and you need to talk in the next minute that gives your creativeness creative thing is being tested so whatever you feel you express don't feel nervous your fluency of english is being tested your creativeness your creativeness is being tested for which you require practice and hence dear students uh, just for fun you play jam jam you among friends instead of chit chatting the rubbish things you just take a topic and you try to think for a minute and talk immediately one minute you need to talk non stop one minute you need to talk you need to have a practice of that all from your second year some companies they go with the gd that is a group discussions so that shows you are ability to conquer others over voice your leadership qualities group discussions while you are talking you you members are being divided into groups some three or four groups and they give a topic and they will ask you to have a discussion in discussion it should not be monologous discussion it should be a dialogue discussion monologous is nothing but just like reading a paper you will be talking not just monologous it is not just reading like a reading a newspaper you are talking to others it should be a dialogue dear friends i don't think so this happens 
in politics that may not happen i hope you will agree something like that a dialogue you are talking to someone there should be expression there should be feel there should be some convincing nature accordingly you need to go with that is a monologues it should not be monologues it should not be monologues it should be dialogue oriented and also keep track of time you just don't keep on talking give chance for others also you put your you throw the important points what you want and give chance to others to talk so the expression is being tested how best you are expressing to others how best you are respecting others and all these can be judged from the group discussions so generally these are the points that happens in the most of the interviews in very few interviews they go with the article writing your writing skills are being tested in very few companies mostly those companies will be developing the content content based web based content based web content based they will be going for this uh, uh, content based article writing article writing but most of the companies they don't do for this article writing very few companies technical article writing and general article writing some of the companies so coming to the post placements after you getting selected they will send you an offer letter they send you an offer letter that is to your mails they send an offer letter yes after all these rounds you got selected are you interested that is called offer letter we are offering a job are you interested they will send an offer letter if you give a reply yes i am interested then they will give appointment letter they will appoint you so offer letter is different appointment letter is different day students the first companies give you offer they we are offering a job are you interested yes i am interested then they give the appointment letter with the date of joining suppose if you are not selected no problem you may be selected to be a still more better company be very optimistic suppose this is the company which is giving 4 lakhs package you are not selected your friend got selected because this is campus yeah your friend got selected not you then don't get disgusted don't get worried you may be selected to a better company so keeping in that mind keeping that in view accordingly you need to be brave be optimistic and take a further step so it is not don't worry it is not the end of the world if you don't get a job it is not end of the world you are having a better opportunities you may be having a still more better opportunities that is the point you need to observe right so these are the various uh, activities that happens in the interview process for which uh, uh, the preparation should takes it should take place well before dear students there are some myths i am saying this is these are only myths we need to have academic high cgpa otherwise we are not selected that is a myth academic high percentage analysis until we are having above 80% 85% we are not selected for the companies that is only a myth better have above 75% or at least 70% better i am saying better if you don't cross 80% we no jobs no that is that is only a myth no need to be academically proficient all subjects to thorough go undali otherwise we are not selected that is only a myth you be very good at uh, programming part technical part and few core subjects you be very strong at the core subjects some of the core subjects not all subjects you need to learn about everything wrong that is only a myth everything no one can learn be strong at few subjects be strong at few subjects need to have the previous work experience no need no work experience your campus you are a fresher no work experience if you are hang interns it is well and good even if you don't have internship it is okay you don't need co curricular extra curricular activities most of the colleges they say for facing the interviews you don't require any cultural activities co curricular uh, debate discussions essay writings and all this not required only academic percentage is uh, sufficient no that is myth you participate in sports sports quota you will get you participate actively in cultural activities cultural activities they take it as a a point and they may select you 
not only academics you are very good in uh, cultural activities yeah that is added benefit that is only a myth so you need to answer every question in interview otherwise you are not selected a myth even if you answer few questions very effectively confidently yeah they will select you so these are these are all the various points you need to observe and you need to practice from now itself and online placements coming to the online placements they are monitored and proctored remember nowadays the interviews are going on online written tests are going on online and remember everything is being monitored and proctored whether you are doing fraudal activities or not is being monitored and it is proctored examined by a person are you doing any mal practices or the plagiarism copy paste business it is being monitored it is being proctored you see always your computer system is ready and it is installed with all the required softwares please avoid attempting tests and interviews over phone your mobile phones online interviews online tests some of the students because they don't have computers laptops they are answering on the mobile phones it is not recommended to go with the mobile phones lot of distortions and disturbances comes in the mobile phone better you go with the computer well because interview that is settling your life dress code is very very important while attending the interviews physically or even online webcam will switch on our webcam and we will be uh, attending the interviews so dress code professional dress code is very very important checking your emails so periodically you check your emails and uh, the company people they will be send, uh, sending some instructions for you or uh, notifications or sometimes the offer letters and all this stuff is being sent to your official mails what you specified in your resume so check your mails periodically and accordingly you will be selected dear students uh, with this i conclude today and uh, the interview is the last process the, the what i told the placements is the last process of your education system but why i had taken this as a very first seminar is accordingly you had listened some points accordingly now you start your preparation it may be a jam it may be group discussion it may be technical it may be coding whatever may be your communication skills so in order to face the interview all these are required and hence you can start your journey taking all these points into consideration right from now thank you students